guys in the back, maybe you want to come on this side. I just, I just need everyone to be able to see the screen right here for a second, okay, guys? If you guys are able to see the screen right here, we're good to go, okay? So whenever you guys need comfy, let's do this. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, normally we have 60 people working in the factory. Those 60 people in the factory only work one shift, it's a morning shift, 8 hour shift, 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. 12 to 1 is lunch time, and you know what's the best part about their schedule? Five days a week, Monday to Friday, weekends off, holidays off. That's a good schedule. I have to work weekends and holidays, so believe me, that's a good schedule right there, okay? All right, over here, we are going to see how the ladies do the first part of the process. Uh, of course, what the ladies first do, they wash the leaves several times to drain all the yellow sap out of it. Like I told you guys, we don't use the yellow in the products anymore. We have three ladies doing the cutting process. The first one, she just cuts the back side of the leaf. The second one, she has like a blade, like a knife, like a mandolin, so she can rip the skin faster off and more efficient as well, but still by hand. And then we have the third and final lady, she would just scoop it out. So guys, if you guys see closely, it's the same process I show you guys outside. Of course, they do a bigger volume, so they have a few extra tools that will help you work faster. Once again, the gel is what goes into the product, and all the ways we use it like as compost. But look guys, the gel is solid. We don't need a solid, we need a liquid. So what we do, we throw all that gel in a centrifuge machine. As you guys know, the centrifuge will spin it off, right? So basically do this, and we'll separate the gel, extract all the fibers, all the impurities out, and then we get it back as a clean liquid. The clean liquid is what goes into the product, and all those little fibers, we throw it back as compost as well. So nothing, nothing goes with it. So see, all of this happens in, the, in those two first windows right there, okay, that's step number one. When they have the clean liquid in their hands, it will be sent to step two, excuse me, sir. Step two is the next window right here close to me. What happens in step two? In step two, they do the weighing of the clean liquid of the gel, and they add the other ingredients depending on the product that they give that day. So they call it the weighing room, I call it the kitchen of the factory, okay? So it's like this, first one to step one, second one to step two, and you see the big room right here? That's step three, right there is where the magic happens, guys. That's the production. So please take a quick look at step one and two, and let's go follow to step three, ladies. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, I love you. I think we have a light. Please Right there, you guys will see that we have several machines in it. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Most of those machines are just mixers or blenders. Each one, of course, with a different number because each one produces a different product. Do you guys see the two look alike right in the front of those two? All right, those two are bottom fillers. We have four nose. And right there behind them, we have the back. You guys will see the one that says F4. F4 straight off here. The F4 is the fastest machine we have. The F4 will fill and seal 60 tubes every minute, so 150 seconds. Wow. When everything is ready, over here, we send everything to the final step on my left side now, and right there is where we do the labeling and the packaging. Over here on the screen, you guys are able to see a little bit of the process. You guys will see that we still do a lot of work by hand in this factory. And you know, you know what, guys, what's the best thing about that, in my opinion, then? We are all from what we can You understand, guys? Look, sometimes people tell me this. It's like labor intensive. But guys, I'd rather see people that see machines. What do you see what they do when the people send them home to buy new machines? Now, come on. You know what's the only thing in this little world that we live through these guys? No, it's so sad, nobody cares about the people anymore, you know? Everybody cares about the profit, the money, the power, you know what I mean? And you know what's another good thing about our production workers? They rotate from position almost every day. So each one of them knows how to do everything in the factory. It's like cross training. Why are we doing that? If somebody is sick, if somebody goes on vacation, we can use somebody else. But the most important, guys, I believe, is that they don't get bored, but they get injured do the same movement every, every day, you know? Guys, I mentioned the guys too already that we have 60 people in the factory, totally for the company in Aruba, 165 employees. Of course, I'm counting in the field workers, office people, drivers, 
warehouse people. Can you know what, guys? Beside that, we also own seventeen stores all over the island, guys. You guys were storing products all over. And you know what, oh. the best thing about that, I'll make you very, very proud. Because believe me, the small company comes back. We have more stores in the world than McDonald's and Burger King. That's good, right? We love it. You know what I mean?